actually see whatever we have derived so far that is the power angle characteristics uh, structure characteristics all those things that assumes uh, that assumes the machine to be a cylindrical rotor machine because you see in cylindrical machine uh, actually the rotor is cylindrical if you have a cross section so the rotor कनेक्शन की कटे गलो सर देखा जा सर नेटवर्क देखो देखते ना देखो यस सर देखा जा कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्सिस्टिक्स So these characteristics assume cylindrical rotor machine, right? Now these will be in detail valid. These theories will be in detail valid for cylindrical rotor machines. Now, if you consider a different type of machine, which you have discussed during the construction uh, period or the construction uh, explanation, that salient pole is another variant of this synchronous machine, salient pole rotor. So these machines are known as salient pole machines. Now, if you consider salient pole machines, all the above is whatever we have described so far may not be in detail applicable. The principle may be same, principle may be same, but you don't find the same formulas or same derivations uh, for salient pole machine. so this is simply because of a, a simple reason like here in this slide i have shown uh, the cross section of both the both the machines that is a cylindrical rotor and salient pole machine so the first one is clear ki he sunte pachho ha ha sir okay okay all right all right So now you see that uh, the in cylindrical rotor machine. Now we have seen during uh, armature reaction concept of uh, variable power factor loads, like when the power factor is varying, like from leading to lagging, and the armature reaction effect becomes say magnetizing to demagnetizing, and then cross magnetizing and all. But this will be same for cylindrical and linear pole. But when you consider MMF, MMF, so MMF will be same. But when you consider the flux produced by this MMF, now this uh, flux produced by this MMF is not a special function when you consider a cylindrical rotor machine because 
magnetic circuit is always the same whatever be the position of the uh, the flux phasor you see here uh, one is uh, say upwards then across to the left and then downwards to the left but whatever uh, in maybe same but the, the magnetic circuit with respect to this mmf is same so that the flux produced is same that means you have an effect that is unaltered irrespective of the position of the space special position of the mmf phasor okay but when you consider the sample machine you see uh, when it is uh, say in the first position there is a top most of these are top left position. So uh, the the flux path, the flux path, see, it consists of some portion of the rotor and then the stator portion is same, and air gap is in between. Now, when you consider the second phasor, that is uh, say along E zero, we are saying. Now here we find the maximum uh, portion of air gap by the flux. Okay. Now the MMF being the same, but the flux produced will vary. It's a it's a position function. It's a it's a position function of the MMF phasor in the space, right? So therefore, you see the armature reaction effect will be more prominently varying here compared to the cylindrical rotor because in cylindrical rotor armature reaction effect. Depends on the flux produced by the armature MMF, and since uh, the uh, it, it is not dependent on the position of the armature MMF phasor only by the magnitude. So therefore, actually, we have only one variant. There is a there is a magnitude variant of the armature uh, MMF, but here we have both magnitude and the position variant. Now, therefore, actually, uh, the concept of a single reactance. Now, we are, we consider their single reactance, excess, excess, the synchronous reactance. Now, the concept of single reactance will not be valid in case of salient port machine because the effect is different at different positions. So, n number of reactances depending on the position, the incremental position phasor of the vectors so this is also not feasible so uh, feasible to calculate or feasible to actually estimate uh, in, in a simple model so therefore actually uh, a theory known as blondel's two reaction theory that came into picture and blondel is a it's a name of a scientist who actually uh, discovered that way if it can be uh, derived so we can take both the effects of the phasor uh, of the position phasor without uh, without occurring much errors or without considering uh, erroneous quantity now what is that actually it is just only the two reaction theory it, it just only assumes two axes uh, of the uh, of the magnetic circuit one is along the field axis that is known as direct axis first one is along the field axis which is known as direct axis or d axis and the other axis is actually along the uh, the quadrature to this axis that is what is known as quadrature axis uh, the second axis is quadrature to the D axis, that is why it is known as Q axis or quadrature axis. This axis will be always along E0, E0 phasor, because E0 is always across this field MMF. It is it's lagging the field by 90 degrees and for generators. Okay. So then Q axis is normal axis and D axis is normally the field axis. So this concept, uh, with this concept actually, Blondel resolved this MMF phasors into, into two components, one along D axis and the along Q axis. Now, if you see here, the D axis uh, magnetic flux path is fixed, and Q axis magnetic flux path is also fixed. Now, if you just consider an MMF composite MMF having two components, one along the axis and another along Q axis. So therefore, concept of fixed reactances can hold good, provided you consider 
that two different reactances exist one along the axis one along q axis because they are magnetic packs fixed magnetic packs paths are fixed. so this is this theory is known as Blondel's two reaction theory where we consider field axis as d axis and the axis correct to the field which is also the axis of the induced dmf or e0 noro dmf is actually the q axis and you have to resolve the mmf results into two component one one along d axis and another along q axis so this part, uh, then after that the same thing is written here so d axis is considered along field axis q axis is taken going to the d axis which is the emf axis or zero axis now armature mmf can can resolve in components one is uh, one along uh, say d axis and another along q axis right now here we have shown in this uh, diagram this fr is the uh, resultant armature mmf so that can be resolved into two uh, components that is fad along the axis and fq along q axis now if it is a lagging power factor case uh, then it will be fad will be uh, in uh, actually the demagnetizing uh, part and fq will be cross magnetizing and if it is a leading power factor fad will be uh, fad will be magnetizing part Uh, magnetizing uh, component it will help the field and if it will be across the uh, uh, that uh, cross magnetizing component you can say so the, then actually the concept of two reactances will come there is one is known as xd d axis reactance and another is xq q axis reactance normally you see that in d axis the magnetic flux uh, actually is more another faces more uh, part of iron compared to the q axis so therefore xd will be always greater than x in case of this cylindrical uh, sorry salient pole synchronous in and therefore you will find actually that two types of uh, uh, two types of uh, equivalent circuits one for d axis one for q axis Now you have to resolve this R A J X Q. This is I Q Q axis, and then this is E Q and V Q. And similarly, R A J X D, uh, E D, and uh, V D, right? So uh, I think uh, wrongly it is written here. Uh, e Q uh, that E portion, uh, the left side will be Q, right side will be D. Okay, just to take care. Now then, if you consider the other diagram, considering this situation. So you get uh, this one. Actually, unfortunately, this is split up. So E zero, you can you can uh, if you if you do not consider the reactance into account. So then E zero can be written for alternator. It's like B T plus J I D X D plus J I Q X Q. J I D X D and J I Q X Q. I D and I Q are D and Q axis components of armature current, right? So now, uh, uh, unfortunately, the art is not uh, totally shown here. You can see here in the right side picture that armature current is here, I A, and two components. One is I D, uh, that left uh, upper left part, and another one is Q, is visible here, D and I Q. And I A is having is having an angle of theta lagging with respect to V T. Now, if you add up V T plus J I D X D plus J I Q X Q. You get zero. So here in T, there is an angle delta. So this actually gives you the, uh, the diagram when you do not consider any armature resistance. But if you consider resistance, so it will be modified in this way. Here will be I A R A. Actually, one term is again missing. V T. Here will be V T plus I A R A plus J I D X D plus J I Q X Q. Right. So I D R A plus I Q R A and I D X D plus I Q X Q. Uh, uh, so unfortunately, V T term is missing. V T plus I R A T plus I R A. So I A can be split into I D plus J I Q. So in this way, you can have I D R A plus J I Q R A plus J I D X D plus J I Q X Q. Now in this way, you can draw the phasor diagram. I D and I Q is drawn here. So I D R A is actually along the axis. 
and GIDXD is uh, along this uh, uh, in quadrature to this axis, leading ID by 90 degree. And IQRA, IQRA is nothing but this one. So IQRA is along this. Uh, and then GIQXQ, so you get uh, this E0, right? So this term is also wrong. So IDRA plus IQRA plus GIDXD plus GIQXQ, okay? So this J term, J is just to show you that with respect to D-axis, it is J. So IDRA plus IQRA plus GIDXD plus GIQXQ plus E2, just to take a note, okay? Now, with respect to this, this is the law of orange characteristics. The simplified terms are because if you consider the RA, only the terms will be a little bit of complexity. A little bit of complexity. So, therefore, if you consider new things, you should consider RA to 0. And if you consider RA, then some terms will be added. I will tell you where they will be added. First, you consider RA is 0. So, now, now. Uh, from this basic diagram, I can see the DSS. ID plus GIGX, we have considered DIGX as the reference axis, right? ID plus GIGX. And then, considering this basic diagram, IQX will be PT, such a delta. IQX will be magnitude, IQX will be PT, such a delta, right? right. And from here, yeah, yeah, you can then you can then IQ. IQ is which is sine delta by IQ. Similarly, VT uh, cos delta plus IQ will give you U0. VT cos delta plus IQ will give you U0. And then then ID from here you can derive uh, like the zero minus VT cos delta by IQ. Now when you have derived ID and IQ, you can put in the ID plus IQ. ID plus IQ. ID plus the ID. Now you will be 0 minus delta by D plus J and D plus sin delta by U. Now power at low and low actually may be like a screen which we get for cellular physics. Dt is highly conjugated. So now now if you take the Dt, now Dt is a star. Now Dt is a star. Is Dt sin delta plus J B plus delta from here you can get it. This sign delta, this sign delta is here along the ID axis, and B cos delta is along the ID axis. So therefore, this sign delta plus the J cos delta. Now you multiply by or equal to this sign delta plus the J cos delta, and then I get one point zero minus the J cos delta by J minus J B T T sign delta by X Q. The last has to be J minus. Now, if you multiply both this, you get two parts, parts one real part and the imaginary part. part. So, real part will be considered as the, the activity power part, part. And the imaginary the part, part is the reactive power part. part. So, considering active power, power part, 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 so real power part is actually the easy to be given by the sign delta. Minus the square by the sign delta was done. Plus the physics square by the sign delta was done. Same one. So now if you just, just have a little bit of mathematical, uh, can say, alterations. So if you, you just uh, make dt by dt by xd, you will be doing the cos delta and the sin to delta and dt by dt by xd, two sin delta cos delta, it is sin to delta. So if you, if you make one more sin to delta, you will be this square, one by xd minus one by xd, this sin to delta. Now the first part, actually, the uh, uh, synchronizing power, synchronizing power, it will be by by the science and it's quite similar to what uh, we saw in case of the Indian world, the series we can return to CC, where x d equal to x q equal to x s, where r a was 0, you can remember, q q q q q y y x sin del data. Right, right. And the second part is arising out, out because of the saliency of the series. Now, now this is you can see like a reluctance series where the axis and the axis is the axis are different, right? <laughs> With some power exists. It's a double frequency is the delta of delta, right? Now you get this is power as a reluctance power. Reluctance power. This is arising. Due to the saliency of the species. If you put x equal to x, both of should be zero. So it is just similar to the saliency of the species. Now this part is the 
success is always there, and some may be due to certain fault. Maybe a relationship, or he has some overdone, or maybe something, something has been said, and etc. It is lost. I mean, current, current, feel current, suddenly it becomes zero. Now, when feel current is zero, you see that uh, as because uh, power is given by zero divided by excess sine delta, and zero is dependent on time delta. No concept in this case, any case of residual magnetism, which is possible. So when feeler is zero, so it is no more naturally no rotation is zero, so it gets zero equal to zero. So no synchronous power can be there. Right, right. Now in turn, to be if you see if you see a cylindrical rotation, now it is active. Uh, this way, you know, we divide by x sine delta. Now, when there is no field and no rotation, we have सर की तो सुना है अच्छा ना
স্যার আপনার আওয়াজ শোনা যাচ্ছে না হ্যালো হ্যালো यस सर হ্যাঁ স্যার শুনতে পাচ্ছো यस सर তো আই ওয়াজ টেলিং দ্যাট আপ টু দিস দিস ইজ ইওর সিলেবাস ফর দা ক্লাস টেস্ট হ্যাঁ ওকে স্যার এই স্লাইড পর্যন্ত পেয়েছো তো পড়ালাম এখন यस सर আই হ্যাভ আপলোডেড রিগার্ডিং মোটরিং স্টার্টিং এটসেট্রা So tomorrow by 10 o'clock I, I'll be sending you in this mail only, huh? this uh, section, B, uh, this one, huh? where I uh, send you these notes, okay? So uh, sir, do you have any numerical, sir, uh, important as a city journal? City journal, numerical, it will be numerical, because it will be finally, 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 it will be finally,